This week on Unplugged Urban, we're solar power in the chicken coop. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unplugged Urban. In case you're wondering, no, we did not just come from a beauty pageant because if we had, your bouquet would be bigger because you would have gotten there. I would have, oh. I probably would have gotten like 10 pound around. And there only would have been like three people there cheering us on. <laughs> well, we're at the farmer's market. We're actually leaving the farmer's market. It's Mother's Day this weekend. <laughs> so we've got some flowers for some mothers. Yep. But uh, this week we are continuing our third week building the chicken coop. Uh, our goal is to get the fence done today okay. and hopefully the electrical too. Nice. So uh, we're going to get cracking on that. It's nice and sunny so don't I, cry yourself. I know right? It's a little it's a little windy today but I will take that over the, the downpour rain. from last week. Yeah the poor farmer's so market miserable. last week it was pouring rain yeah. so hardly anyone was here which was probably a good thing because they're just trying to ease us into it and then today it's beautiful and sunny but crazy windy pretty, yeah it's pretty pretty Child windy today blown away yeah yeah it's supposed to it's supposed to get up into the uh like mid 80s today so yeah. we'll see if that happens yeah i'm gonna try not to burn myself but uh i'll do my best i'll make sure ben has the fire extinguisher <laughs> this week we are installing top and bottom railings to the chicken wire that surrounds the perimeter of the run this will not only improve the appearance of the coop, but also keep the gravel out of the run. The railings are made from 2x8 stud grade lumber that we ripped into 1x8s and painted so they won't rot. doing in here? You don't belong in the garage. Come on. Go eat some bugs out in the yard. My, uh, my mom dropped off these beautiful flowers for Danielle for Mother's Day so I thought you know what they look really good on the barn. I found this bracket in the garage. I cannot remember where it goes to, but it was in my scrap pile. So, and it's already the right color because it matches the trim up there. I want to put that up there, and I, I think Danielle will really like that for Mother's Day. I've been trying to think what to get Danielle for Mother's Day, and I'm just not coming up with anything. But she did mention she wanted uh, a, a sign for the back of our chicken coop that said, like, farm fresh eggs or something like that. I was going to order something, but it was just not going to get here in time um, because, you know, it's like not an essential item. So I found this in the garage. It's an old television entertainment center cabinet door and again, scrap wood. So uh, I'm going to try and make in one of those signs or this may never end up in the footage and it might end up in our like best of seem like a good idea at the time.
You ready for a Mother's Day present? Yes. Even though you kind of already know what it is. Well, it's because we share a photos account. Wah, wah, wah. But I'm surprised it's for me. It is for you. Okay. I was going to buy you. I was actually, right before I saw the pictures, yeah. I was looking online for the tin signs mm -hmm. that say farm fresh eggs for you for Father's Day. <laughs> got you something too. Who's so mom? My mom. Your mom? Oh. Yeah. Nice. You have to figure out which one's which. Okay. I think your mom bought me the flowers. You like that? Yes. That sign is so cute. Yeah? Good. I love it. Good. I'm glad you, you repurposed like the cabinet door. I did. Nice. Yeah. Look at you guys. Hi guy girls. Hi girls. Hello. Well, I made some good progress yesterday. As you can see, we got pretty much most of the fence done. So now we just need to install the gate here and then we're gonna finish up uh, the electrical that started last week on the solar panels. <music> Okay, so the fence is all done. Time to start wiring up the solar. I'm gonna start by mounting my main components, the MPPT um, and our inverter oof, to convert the DC to AC voltage. If you want a bunch more information about how all this goes together, this is pretty much the same build that we did uh, when we expanded the solar in the garage. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to it um, in the suggested videos. So let's get going. <laughs> wired up to the solar panels we were able to uh, measure voltage and a small amount of current because the MPP does take a little bit of current to run so it looks like solar panels are working um, normally I would start installing the batteries and then the inverter uh, but I'm first going to run all the AC wire for we have a heat lamp for the chickens there's a lamp on the back of the uh, of the coop and also I'm gonna add an outlet uh, over here so that we can we can have an outlet here as well just for if we need one if I were to put the batteries in there wouldn't be room for me up there so I want to get this all done first then I'll put the batteries in and then uh, and then we can fire everything up so I'm gonna get that AC uh, Romax put in and uh, and then we'll start putting the batteries in <laughs> Okay, we've got all of our electrical done. Our batteries are installed and running nicely. They're getting charged now. Uh, we got kind of partially cloudy days, so they're charging a little and they're not charging, and they're charging a lot. Um, got our uh, inverter right here. Uh, we've also got our MPPT down here uh, that's uh, charging everybody, and everything seems to be working fine. We added this outlet over here for an extra outlet uh, to have for um, <clears throat> the outside of the coop. 
And we've got our outdoor light and of course the heat lamp plugged in. So the chickens should be pretty happy with their new home. After a full weekend of working in the backyard, we decided to take advantage of the beautiful weather and go down to the Columbia River for a nice long walk. to the end of another Unplugged Urban video. We are glad that you joined us this week. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. We uh, are enjoying some Chinese food here in the great city of Dallas, Oregon. The Dallas. The Dallas. <laughs> Not to be confused with Dallas. It's the Dallas. Is that how they say it here? They yes. say Dallas, Oregon. They're like, no, the Dallas. Maybe. We made some great progress on our chicken coop this week and our garden's starting to come together. Yep. I mean, we're not really planting any more things, which we need to do, but we cleaned it up, so. Yes, we were organizing or spreading out all the, the gravel and rock we have in there. Ben at one point turns around to me and says, oh, yours looks like a zen garden. And you said, what is yours <laughs> look like, like, Ben? He's like, a mess. A mess. <laughs> <laughs> it does look good, though. I mean, we've, does. we've been working on this for almost... <clears throat> A year and a half now and it's kind of all starting to come starting together. To come together. Now that we've got the electrical done, the gates done, the, the chickens were super happy once they got their little vetting in there, the what the cedar pine, sh shavings. pine shavings. They're very happy about that uh, and uh, and it's nice to have them on a fence. This morning uh, Nugget jumped into that um, window well. Yeah it was just about three feet down and then just flew right out and I thought okay well because we've been having to go rescue her when she jumps in there right and now it's like she can get out of her own so our eight foot fence is seeming a little bit short so it's good to have the chicken coop done imagine eventually we're gonna have to figure out how to clip their wings so if you know anything about clipping uh chickens wings post a comment to a video or information we'd love to know about that we're kind of new to chickens we'll be calling my sister we do have a backup yeah her <laughs> sister knows a lot about chickens anyway Thanks for joining us again this week. Uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, make sure to tell your friends on Facebook and other social platforms. For now, we're going to say... Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.